welcome to T Boys TV. We are back again with another T Boy discusses, and a lot of things we're going to talk about today. Um, four different things I'm planning to talk about in this one. So sit back, relax, and then tell me your thoughts. Obviously, after when you have watched the video. But obviously, the first thing we're going to talk about uh, has come out today. Mendes Gomez has left. Uh, Luton Town, he has gone to Bolton Wanderers, now obviously there was rumours the other day, you know, I didn't want it to happen, because, you know, I think he could, I thought he could have been a good player for the future, um, you know, and the money, apparently, you know, it was, there was rumours flying around that it was 300k, um, which I think we can get a little bit more for him, now, I know he didn't play for us last season, in a sense, well, he did, but obviously, he went out on loan, um, not the whole season with us. Thought we could have maybe got a little bit more. But, you know, it, it's one of them. I'll get a bit more into my thoughts um, very shortly. But something I did want to read out. Bolton Wanderers, right? This makes no sense what they've put on their post, by the way. Uh, so they put, right, this is what they put on one of the bits. Uh, the versatile forward who has played in the central attacking midfield positions as well as a centre forward and out wide, helped Luton reach the championship playoffs. Right? So you heard that. And then it says, after that, after a goal-scoring League Cup appearance for the Hatters at the start of the season, he then spent the remainder of the 2022-23 campaign on loan at Fleetwood Town, where he scored nine goals in 37 appearances. So how did he help us get to the playoffs? <laughs> And then you say that after. It doesn't make no sense. Um, but jokes aside, you know, it's, it's a very good signing for Bolton. Obviously, you know, they got in the playoffs uh, last season. You know, obviously, he done very well at Fleetwood. Like I said, out of our players at the time that went out on loan, he was definitely, the sh you know, the shining light. Uh, so I am gutted. I am gutted that he's gone. But in a sense... You know, where, you know, I remember me and my dad was questioning when's he going to play? You know, what position's he even going to play in? You know, where is he in the pecking order? Do you know what I mean? It just didn't really seem like he was near. Um, so it's, it's it's one of them, really, you know, is what it is. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think about Mendes Gomez leaving Luton. And if you are a Bolton fan, you've got a good player on your hands, trust me. It'll do very well for you guys. And I've seen a lot of your fans are very happy anyway. Um, so, yeah, fair enough. Fair enough. Is what it is. It'll do well. Um, and I wish him all the best, you know. Uh, so, that is that. Uh, moving on to the next topic, which was something that came, you know, heavily flying around in the last couple of days. Uh, apparently, Luton are closing in on signing uh, Ryan Giles uh, from Wolves. Obviously, he was on loan at Middlesbrough, um, but I'll read this report and then I'll say my thoughts on it. So, according to Express and Star, uh, the 23-year-old did not travel to Portugal with the first team admit, admit sorry, interest from Luton and Middlesbrough. And Giles is now closing in on a move to Luton. Uh, they have been in talks with Wolves over a move and hope to agree a fee in the region of £5 million for the academy graduate. Uh, graduate, sorry. Uh, Giles impressed on loan at Middlesbrough last season, but lost out on promotion from the Championship with the North East side. He was given a chance to train with the Wolves first team this summer, but is now set to depart, with Wolves in talks to sign West Ham's Aaron Cresswell as a more experienced op option at left-back. Um, so yeah, that is that. That is that on that. Uh, the rest is just Daniel Prudence, but obviously that's not who we're talking about. Uh, so, it's interesting. Uh, Ryan Giles, you know, seems like a very good player. I, I would take him at Luton. If these rumours are true, I'd be very happy. Uh, something about him, you know, I did watch a lot of Middlesbrough games. Obviously, I watched them in the playoffs as well, as much as they were poor. Uh, I don't even think they scored in the playoffs over two legs, did they? Um, you know, he got a lot of assists in the league. Uh, obviously, Akpon was, was top goal scorer. Uh, nearly touching 30 goals and Giles set a lot of them up um, and it would be a very good signing for me uh, for Luton. I know a lot of Wolves fans are annoyed. Um, not not that he's going to Luton necessarily. It's more, you know, they know he's a good player so it's annoying they're not really keeping him, you know, seeing what he did last season at Middlesbrough. 
but you know if you look if you take stuff like this into account as well he's deleted his uh wolves profile picture on social media on instagram and he's just got a blank one now so does that tell me he's going to luton not necessarily but it tells me he's leaving that's for sure um, obviously, I've seen a few Middlesbrough fans say, oh, come to us, it's the better thing. Obviously, most of them are going to say that because they support them. But taking my bias you know, aside, even though I always say it how it is, it, it's not though, is it? You know, Do you think he cares about area? No, he'd rather be playing in the Premier League. Do you know what I mean? It's as simple as that. Um, so, yeah, and obviously, if he did come in, where would he play exactly? You know, I, I obviously he's a left back. Um, would he play left centre back or left back? I think he'd probably go into left back. Um, like, like I've said numerous amount of times, I think we'll play the same way at home next season. I think away we'll change it up. Obviously, when we go, you know, to the Etihad, Anfield, places like that. But at home, I think we'll play the same. Um, and obviously, Bell's very consistent um, in left back or left centre back. So he'll probably go into left centre back, and then Giles will play more left back to start off with and then they might even change it up you know throughout the season Doherty you know where will he be um it'd be interesting to see because obviously he was on the left wing uh back a lot of times last season maybe go over towards the right be a backup or maybe go higher up into midfield where he actually plays it's going to be interesting uh you know I even say that with players like Chong where where, where is he going to play because he can play a lot of positions as well um, especially the way we play, it'll be interesting. Will he play on the, you know, in the midfield? Will he play as a wing back? I don't know. Will he even go up front for certain games? I don't know. It's all interesting. Um, but yeah, like I said, if Ryan Jules uh, does come through the door, I'll be very happy. Let me know what you guys think about that. And then two other talking points I do want to get into. One that's come out not too long ago, a couple of hours ago uh, from me recording this. Luton Town are apparently interested in Aston Villa forward. Now, a lot of you might go, why are you, why are you saying it like that? Aston Villa, Luton, no rivalry. Well, he's a former Watford player uh, last season. Keenan Davies. Um, now, you know, I'm going to read this report and then I'll say my thoughts. Um... So Luton Town have confirmed five new additions as they prepare for the Premier League. If Issa Kabore arriving as the newest squad member uh, for the new season. The Hatters have made a positive start to the summer transfer window, but there is certainly more business to be conducted with the goalkeeping position standing as a priority. However, the latest rumour concerning the Hatters is on the opposite end of the pitch and within area where the Bedfordshire club are stacked with options, the front line. Um... And then it says, according to the Athletic, uh, Luton are considering uh, uh, Aston Villa striker Keenan Davies with a 25-year-old entering the final year of his current deal at the Midlands outfit. As detailed in a report from the Athletic, the Villa striker has not travelled with the rest of the squad to a pre-season trip to the US. Uh, Davies is also being trapped by a host of championship clubs who could look to strengthen their initial level of interest over the next few weeks. Uh, Davies spent the 2022-23 season on loan at M1 rivals Watford, netting seven goals and providing two assists for the Hornets. The reports came that Villa will likely demand a fee of around four million to seven million uh, mark, as they seemingly stand in a position where they are winning part company this summer. Of course, Davies worked under the stewardship of Town boss Rob Edwards during the early stages of the last campaign with the powerful forward enjoying a more productive first half of the season than the second half. So, it's interesting. Obviously, he was only on Watford at Watford on loan. Obviously, we do have players currently... Well, he's just left, but Lansbury was obviously... Yeah, he played for Watford as well. Um, but this one's an interesting one, because the difference between Lansbury and Davies is when Davies scored, I, I laugh about it, but I was fuming at the time, he celebrated, you know... You know, just stuff like that. I just I can't see it. The only thing I can maybe see the reason why is because of the Rob Edwards factor where he was narrowly, you know, his manager and he was there for early stages, like they said. But overall, I don't think he will come to Luton. Um, I do think he will go somewhere else, definitely. I don't think he'll be on Villa's books, especially with the players they're bringing in and the players they currently got. Ollie Watkins doing very well now. 
Um, so yeah, I, I can't see him staying at Villa. Can't see him coming to Luton though. Let me know what you guys think about that. And then the last thing we're going to talk about, obviously it's said there, our main priority right now is a goalkeeper. And it come out uh, the early hours of today um, that Luton target Tom Heaton set to discuss future with Eric Ten Hag. Uh, so obviously, you know, pretty pretty simple what, what's been said there. So it's going to be interesting. Obviously, with Man United, they're bringing Onano. who's obviously going to be the main one, as we know. Obviously, David De Gea is now gone. Tom Heaton, it's going to be interesting. He did play the other day against Arsenal. Um, I did watch that game. And he was quite impressive, actually. Uh, he made a double save on Odegaard uh, shots. And, you know, people go on about age. But for a goalkeeper, I don't really think it matters. Until they're maybe about 40. It depends how good they are. But he's got Premier League experience. He just wants game time. He just wants game time. Hence why he's out here, you know, going to discuss... If Ten Hag see what's going on, am I going to play any odd cup games? Like I said, he's not going to start because obviously Onana. But I'd definitely take him at Luton, man. You know, especially if he performed the other day. Yeah, like, you know, people go, oh, Arsenal bottled the Premier League and that, but they still got a wicked team and they still had a very good team out as well. I thought, um, you know, against Man United the other day in that game they played against each other, the two 0 victory. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Would you take Tom Heaton at Luton? Because, yeah, I for sure would if the opportunity come. And obviously, we do need a goalkeeper. For me, we should be getting two. Because, uh, like I said, you know, on one of the videos, recent ones, I said, you know, Matt Mace is not even good enough for the championship. Um, and then James Shea he can make that step up, but not make that step up and be consistent. You know, he can maybe come in the odd games and, and do all right. But throughout the whole season, no, not for me. So... Yeah, people, there you go. That is everything I'd like to discuss today. So let me know your thoughts on everything that I've discussed today. Don't forget to smash a like on the video if you haven't already. Do subscribe to the channel if you are new as well. Turn on the notification bell. I'll see a few of these through these videos. We have got a few new subscribers, so big up to yourselves. Also, do subscribe to the other channel uh, where I post clips of you know stuff on these videos. T Boys TV Extra. Uh, follow me across any of my socials if you're not already. Try and get the Twitch up and running. Follow me on there. I want to try and get to 50 followers ASAP on there. Make sure you follow me on my socials, you know, other ones as well. TikTok, uh, T Boys TV, TikTok. I want to try and get to a thousand followers. Uh, I've only been running it for a couple of months and we're already on 500. So big up to yourselves. <coughs> and uh, yeah, on that bombshell coffin, I think that's telling me I need to wrap up. So yeah. See you lot in a bit. Take care and peace.